Hey folks, Eric Levy here. You're watching another episode of EML77 TV, the third episode of 2020. What's going on? Well, the Patriots' um, season has come to an end. They lost to the Tennessee Titans 20-13. to um, I have to admit, that was pretty... It was this, this season probably stung a little bit. I think we were doing well. We thought we were well on our way until we ran into the Ravens. And I think the Ravens kind of smacked the Patriots off the momentum uh, that they were in. And I think since then it's been trying to, you know, it's like, you know, it's like it's like it's like a, you know, the car is trying to start up. Like it runs real well, and all of a sudden it stalls, and then it runs real up and it stalls, and it runs real up and it stalls, and that's what it's been like for the Patriots this season. But um, I could easily get angry and mad, screaming all you Patriot haters, and um, and I know a lot of friends of mine that are Patriot. Um, they don't like the Patriots, and um, but I will address them on this one thing. If you refuse to acknowledge the Patriots as one of the greatest football teams ever, and I will never ever acknowledge, I will never, I will refuse to believe that they're cheaters, because I know they're not. All right, that's a fact, and I'm just going to stick with it. I don't care what happened in the past. It was in the past, you let it go, you move on. All right, the flake gate, spy gate, let it go, move on. The league, the media, including that idiot Max Kellerman, as the only person that I will talk bad about is Max Kellerman because Kellerman is just annoying. All right, he's just probably the most annoying person ever. And all the sports media has been talking down about these sports media. Is that's it? But you know, I'll talk about friends of mine and relatives that I, people I know who are Patriot haters. I am not going to. I'm going. I'm not going not to get on the case or anything like that. But I want to congratulate the Tennessee Titans for a, a great play game. You guys played with uh, had momentum going in there, and Mike Vrabel. You know, and it is the fact that every time the Patriots play a goal up against a player that used to be on their team and a coach that used to be with them and all that, and that person, you know, it kind of haunts us because because this it's like we let them walk and then all of a sudden. They play against us, and they end, their team ends up beating us. That's what happened to that to that last two games. Brian Flores, when he was with the Patriots, he was the defensive coordinator, and then went over to Miami, had his beat, and then and then Mike Vrabel beat us tonight. Logan Ryan used to play for the Patriots, beat us tonight. We haven't heard much from Malcolm Butler. I think he was with the Titans the last time I checked. So I don't know where Malcolm, Malcolm Butler is now, but we haven't heard much from him, so... That, you know, like I said, it was a former Patriot that really, you know, sometimes, you know, makes the front office regret the day they've let this guy go. And they said, oh, man, you know. And, um, but it is what it is. But you know what? For the past 20 years, all right, a New England, the New England sports revival. And um, and so um so what happened um was you know the Titans played and they know everything you know Vrabel's got this team got his team prepared and it was like I said it is what it is but for the past twenty years though New England especially around Boston, has enjoyed the greatest sports revival. Like I said, since, since, since the year 2000 started. I mean, Patriots got the ball rolling by winning the Super Bowl in 2001. And then, it, and then 2003, they won another one. 2004, they won another one. And then, here come the Red Sox. Broke the curse in 2004 by doing it the hard way. By being the first team to come down from zero games to three deficit against the chief rival, the New York Yankees, in the ALCS and winning four straight. No one has ever done that 
what the Red Sox did in 2004. And then went on to sweep the Cardinals to break the curse. Then in 2007, they swept the Rockies to win another one. Then they beat the Cardinals again in six games to win another one. Then they beat the Dodgers in five games to win the World Series. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then you got, in the middle of all that, you got the Bruins winning the Stanley Cup in 2011 and the Celtics winning the championship in 2008. The Bruins made it to three Stanley Cup finals only to win one out of the three. So, Red Sox made the playoffs a couple, a few times in this millennium. The Celtics are starting to uh, evolve a little bit in the playoff scenario. Coming close, coming close, coming close. So, I can, I, can, I can safely say I'm very thankful that we have a great New England sports dynasty. Not just for the Patriots, but for the Red Sox, the Bruins, and, and Celtics, four major teams. We all, the thing is, the teams all won a major championship, and all the major four major sports were all a champ. Our New England sports teams won a championship, and that's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, six Super Bowls, twelve titles in the last twenty years. Could you believe that? Twelve titles in twenty years. It's amazing, very amazing. Will we see something like this again? I doubt it. But if we do, wonderful. But this year has not been the Patriots' year. And it will only be a matter of time. It will only be a matter of time. And uh, it, was a matter, it was a matter of time, you know. We don't know what's going to happen in the off season. We know it's on to the Bruins, Celtics, and Red Sox. Bruins and Celtics are doing pretty well in the regular season so far. We hope they keep up the great work. And we're hoping that um, the Bruins, I know they're on a little bit of schneid, and hopefully they get off that schneid and get going. So, there you have it. Titans move on. They play the Ravens while the Texans will play the Chiefs. I got a feeling that the Ravens and Chiefs are going to go at it in the AFC title game. It'll be very interesting to see where. Because Mahomes and uh, Lamar Jackson are both quarterbacks of the future. I'm hoping that, you know, they have a good rivalry like Brady and Peyton Manning did, I think. Will Brady come back to New England next year? Who knows? So, yeah, I kind of feel bad. So, if, that, if he's not coming back... Via retirement, I'll go to another team. Tom Brady, thank you. Josh McDaniels, thank you. And to the other teams out there, and they're still in the playoffs, best of luck to you guys. I'm hoping that um, you guys be successful. It happens, it happens. It is what it is. Can't change it. So, we'll see what New England does in the off season. Like I said, it's been amazing. Past 20 years, New England Sports Re- Revival. In. Revival. A New England Sports Revival. And it was, it was great. It was fun while it lasted. Who knows? If we come back and end up winning number seven, to be, I'd be like, how the heck did we do that? You know, we don't have the same players that we used to do. We don't have the same coaches used to do. But one thing I know about Belichick, he always finds a way. And I think that's that's what we're going to look out for next season. Okay. So again, Patriots lose. Their season's over. Now we move on to the Red Sox. Bruins. The Celtics up to you guys. Let's get it done. I know there'll be a lot of changes happening in the offseat will be happening in the for New England. Only hope. 
Injuries to key players, departures of key players, was cost the Patriots in the end. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode. So, this is Eric Lima. See you for now.